Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video, we are going to discuss a short story, The Parrot in the Cage. So grab your virtual seats and let's begin this journey. The Parrot in the Cage, a short story, is written by Mulk Raj Anand. He was a prominent Indian writer known for his contribution to Indian literature in English. He was a prolific author, a social activist and a leading figure in the Indian literary scene during the first half of the 20th century. The Parrot in the Cage is set in Lahore and reflects the social and political disturbance during the pre-independence era in India. The story explores the impact of historical events on the lives of ordinary people, particularly through the lens of an elderly woman named Rukmani. The central message of the story is the effect of political disturbance being displaced from one's place and the struggle for survival. There are two main characters around which the story revolves. We've got Rukmani, the elderly protagonist and a witness to the historical disturbance who is struggling for survival. And we have the parrot. Now the parrot in the story is a symbolic character who's in a cage and Technically, if you see, he is representing Rukmani's own sense of being trapped, confined or being a captive, right? So, we'll now see through a detailed analysis what the story is all about and then you can go back and read the whole text of the story. So, the story begins with the parrot's call and Rukmani is waiting for the deputy commissioner to arrive because she is anticipating or she is predicting that she will get some kind of financial help from him. The parrot at this time calls out to Rukmani echoing the way her friends used to call her. So the parrot has picked up the way they would call Rukmani out and he is also calling out in the same manner. At this time Rukmani recalls a traumatic night of violence adding a depth to her character. In the story, the lines go like rumblings of the dreadful night when murder and fire had raged. Okay, And at this time, we see Rukmini in her responses reveals her sense of being aimless. She has no target and all that she is doing at this moment is that she is waiting for some kind of help. But still, you will see the parrot is constantly questioning and calling out to Rukmani and observing the actions of Rukmani and calling out to Rukmani. At this time, Rukmani has an encounter with the gram seller. He advises Rukmani to seek food elsewhere because he will not be able to provide food to Rukmani. So this over here highlights the indifference of the society people are not caring towards her she is already without money she needs help when she goes to a gram seller for some food the reply she gets is you have gone mad at this time we see rukmani expressing her regret she's feeling very very sad at her situation and she quotes Oh, why did I leave home to wander like this? She's not even liking the situation she is in, but she has no other option. So therefore, remember in the beginning, I told you the story will be talking about displacement. This is the first instance where you see because she has left home, there is displacement. Now, at this time, we have the arrival of the deputy commissioner. She excitedly prepares to approach him for help. There goes your dipti collator. This is one of the lines that are again mentioned in the story. Now at this time there is a lot of chaos. The police charges at the gathering crowd and there is a lot of chaos and commotion. Rukmani at this time is swept away. She is literally pushed to one side because of the chaos of the crowd but then she still holds on to the parrot's cage now again the parrot starts calling out amidst this chaos and she call and the parrot calls out the name of rukmani he continues to call and it shows that there is a lot of disturbance in the whole situation 
Now Rukmani is found alive but she is injured after this chaos has settled down. The gram seller helps her and tends to her injuries and you know just provides a little bit of first aid at this time. We see that the story ends with a final call of the parrot. Rukmani tu kithe hai? So the parrot calls out persistently echoing that there is a lot of uncertainty about whether she will survive or not and the parrot is getting worried and in its own way is trying to express the the concern for Rukmani So in the story we see how the individuals are coping up with this continuous political disturbance remember it's the pre independence era so before india would get independent there were a lot of fights which would randomly break out without any reason imagine you know you can imagine the scene of the 2611 mumbai blasts also there also what had happened people were do following their you know daily routine and suddenly there was a terrorist attack so similarly over here suddenly there used to be outbreaks of not war i would say but fights because of you know two people fighting against each other and all that would happen so the story captures that moment in time of history at the same time we see how there is also a hint at how rukmani is alone she is feeling very very desperate because she is not getting the attention from the people in the society everyone is just concerned about themselves even if someone is in trouble people do not want to help the other person they want to mind their own business first so this was another thing that was happening in the pre independent era because of course there was a lot of uncertainty you never know when where a fight would break out so people were not wanting to you know help others thinking that it might backfire at them and thirdly we see the caged parrot in the story symbolizes being confined being trapped even though rukmani is moving about freely there is a sense of confinement because you saw what happened she also got attacked so it echoes rukmani's own sense of being trapped in this kind of a troubled situation around her So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.